Today, we shall see a demonstration of the undrained triaxial test. In the design of foundations, it is necessary to know the shear strength parameters of the soil, and the triaxial test is the most popular test method to determine it. The movement of the triaxial rig can be controlled using the buttons available. Just press once for upward or downward movement. For fast upward or downward movement, you need to press and hold. Edit the test strain rate to 1 mm per minute. To perform the test, you will need a cylindrical soil sample of known dimensions, two perspex end caps, membrane, two O-rings, top cap with steel ball, hollow tube to fit the sample inside the membrane, and a triaxial cell. We shall now see how to prepare the sample before it can be placed on the pedestal. The two perspex end caps sits on either side of the soil sample. Now place the membrane in the hollow tube such that the membrane can cover entire sample assembly. You can use the pipe to create suction such that the sample can be easily placed inside the hollow tube. Carefully, place the sample inside the hollow tube along with the top seal. Wrap the membrane across the sample and remove it from the tube. We shall now see how to fit in the sample on the pedestal. Carefully place the sample and wrap the extruding membrane onto the pedestal. To ensure the water does not seep into the sample during the test, we need to seal it with O-rings. To seal with O-rings top and bottom of the sample, roll the rings on either ends of the steel tube. Now place the tube over the sample as it stands on the pedestal and roll the O-rings off on bottom and top side of the sample. Roll down the membrane to expose off the top cap sitting on the sample. Ensure the sample assembly is aligned straight with the pedestal. Place the steel ball on the cap to ensure the stress is applied uniaxially on the sample from the loading frame. Now, Carefully place the triaxial cell chamber over the sample on the pedestal without disturbing it, and seal the chamber at the base using the clamps. Using the displacement controls, raise the base of pedestal until contact has been made between the loading ram and the top perspex cap.
Ensure the displacement transducer is in contact with the cell. To fill the chamber with water, open the air pressure, close the water supply and open the valve connecting to the chamber. The water level should rise gradually within the chamber. Once the water begins to escape from the air release valve, shut the valve and shut the valve connecting the chamber. Now the sample is ready to be sheared. Set the initial readings of the load and displacement readings as zero by pressing the tear button on the controllers. To set the cell pressure, slowly rotate the pressure knob until the required pressure is set. Here the cell pressure is set to 50 kilopascals. Once the required cell pressure is set, open the valve of the chamber which will set the apply this pressure to the sample in the chamber. To start shearing, press the up button the triaxial rig. This will move the pedestal upward at the required strain rate, and thus applying a load on the sample. Note the load and displacements values displayed on the controller at regular intervals until the end of the test. The shearing stage of the test in the footage is fast forwarded. The test is finished when an axial strain of 20% is reached or until the sample fails completely. Once the test is completed, press the stop button on the triaxial rig. After the completion of the test, drain out the water from the cell chamber by releasing the cell pressure and opening the water valve connecting to the chamber. 
you should open the air valve on top of the triaxial cell while draining out the water. Now, lower the pedestal, unscrew the clamps, and remove the cell chamber. Carefully remove the sheared sample from the triaxial rig for further visual inspection. Carefully remove the O-rings, perspex cups and membrane covering the sheared soil sample. Observe the failure pattern on the sample and report the same. Following same procedure, perform triaxial test for remaining cell pressures. Plot total deviator stress against axial strain for the three tests on the same graph. Finally, plot more circles and arrive at shear strength parameters of the soil. 